Okay, so today we're going to make a Cat 5 patch cord. Okay, what are you going to use a patch cord for? Well, you use your patch cord a lot for connecting a workstation to a computer, um, plug in your patch panels to your equipment in the head end rooms. Hi, my name is Craig Michaud and I am the Electrical Instructor. Today we're going to discuss patch cords and how to make them. Uh, you can buy patch cords, but you know, sometimes people like to make them. You can get patch cords anywhere from a buck to ten dollars. You can make them for about the same. So sometimes we prefer to make them, other times if we have them, we'll just use the pre-made ones. There's just a couple things you need to know. You need to understand the color code. So one of the things that we talk about is the different styles or the different techniques. The styles that we use is the 568A and the 568B. Now today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a patch cord with a 568B patch cord. So what do we need to know? Well, we, we need to know the color code. What do we need to know? A Cat5 cable has four pairs. That's eight wires. So we have a blue and a white. We have a blue. We have an orange and a white. We have an orange, we have a green, green and a white, we have a green, and we have a brown and a white, and a brown. So those are the four pairs that we use in a Cat5 cable. Use Cat6, whatever, but today we're going to use Cat5. So our color code today is going to be a 568B color code, and our pin setup. So when we look at our module, our RJ45, our RJ45 plug, okay, when we look at our RJ45 plug, we're looking at it with the tab down, okay, the tab's going to be down. So when we look at it in the tab down, it's just like reading a book. We're going to read from left to right. So we're going to start with white-orange, then we're going to go to orange, then we're going to go to white-green, blue, white-blue, green, white, brown, and brown. Now, I always tell everybody it's easy. You have a solid color and you have a white in a color. Every other one, they should never be the same. So every other one is going to be a solid color and a white color. Okay. When I show you in the demonstration, it'll just make it a little bit more, uh, more sense. Okay, so now to make our patch cord, we're going to need a piece of Cat5 cable. You're going to need two modular plugs. You're going to need a pair of strippers. You're going to need a pair of side cutters. And you're going to need a modular plug crimper. You're also going to need a tester. Testers can be bought Home Depot, Lowe's. You can pick these testers up for about 75, 80 bucks. Your crimper you get for about 20 bucks. I think I got this one at Home Depot. It was pretty cheap. It was like 20, 21 bucks. Um, side cutters you can get for about 10 bucks. Strippers you can get for about 10 bucks. Modular plugs, you can get them, you can buy a thousand of them for like 20 bucks. And the Cat5 cable, you get a thousand foot for roughly 75 bucks. How do we put it together? Well, first thing we have to do is we have to expose our conductors. So what I like to do is I like to take my cable and I'm gonna have about two and a half inches or so and I'm just gonna take my stripper and I'm just gonna score the wire. I score the wire, I'm gonna snap it and peel it off. I'm gonna take my cutter and I'm gonna cut it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to expose my pairs. I have my blue-white pair, I have my orange pair, I have my green pair, and I have my brown pair. The only time you're going to actually take your twists apart. So let's do that. I'm going to straighten them out.
Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to put them in order. So we're going to start with our orange pair. We're going to start out with orange white. I'm going to fan them out, then we're going to go to orange. Then what we have to do is we have to do green white. We're splitting in the B, we're splitting the, the green pair. In the A, you would split the orange pair. We'll do that in another video. So now we're going to do orange, or we're going to do green, white. Then we're going to do blue. And we're going to do blue, white. And then green, brown, white, and then brown. Now, the key is to hold them and place them together so that they're fanned out and in line with each other. So sometimes it takes a little bit of finagling to get these cables or these wires around so that they're nice and straight and in line. So once we get them in line, we straighten them right out. Okay. Now as you can see that I have them in line, they're kind of in order. What I want to do is I want to take this modular plug and I want to put it on so that it's set in place. Now, in the modular plug, there are little grooves. You can see by the pins on top, there's little shoots in there that the wire is going to slide into. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we get our wires lined up exactly where they need to be before we cut them. Okay. So I believe I'm looking good here. So now I'm going to take my side cutters that are lined up and I'm going to cut them straight across. As you can see, there's only about a little bit more than a half inch, which is okay. Because what you're going to do now is you're going to take your modular plug with the tab facing down and you're going to slide it into the plug. Now as you slide it into the plug, as you slide it into the plug, you want to make sure that <clears throat> as you slide it into the plug, you want to make sure that you can see your copper conductors right here at the end. You want to be able to look at it before you crimp it. You want to be able to check it and make sure your wires are in the right right shoot. and they seem to be good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my crimper and I'm gonna slide it in. This is an eight pin, this is a six pin, so we're gonna slide it into the eight pin, the tab facing down. We're gonna push the wire towards the plug and then we're gonna crimp. You're gonna run your finger across, make sure that all, all the brass pins went down into the conductor, you'll give it a little bit of a tug and you're good to go. This is how you do a modular plug. This is an RJ45 modular plug on a Cat5 to make a patch cord. I'm gonna do the other side and then we'll test it.
Okay, so now that we've completed our patch cord, now we're gonna put it into the pin tester. We're gonna make sure our pins are correct. If they're correct, these four lights will light up and they'll all be green. Press the test button and they all checked out. Okay, so that's how you make a Cat5 patch cord doing using the 568B co uh, color code. I hope this video helped. If the video helped, do me a favor, give me a like. If you haven't subscribed, which I still can't figure out why you haven't subscribed yet, do me a favor, please subscribe. Patch cords can be made very simply and very cheap. All you have to do is know what the code is, put the time in correctly, practice, 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 and you too will make patch cords right the first time. Have a great day and be safe.